Hello, graduates, families, and friends. My name is Mandy Savitz-Romer, and I am the faculty director of the Prevention Science and Practice Program. I'm honored to represent the PSP faculty and staff today to congratulate you and your families on the completion of your master's degree in education. I want to start by pausing to invite each of you to take a moment and turn and thank the people around you, whether in person or virtually. These are the folks who have supported you and sustained you throughout your year, and in some cases for years before. Please also take a moment to think about the people who inspired you to return to graduate school, your students, your families, and your communities. Take a moment to lift up those people in your minds and your hearts to bring them into today's celebration. Although I have the privilege of speaking today, I recognize that your year has been made special by so many people at HGSC. As such, I'd like to thank my HGSC colleagues, and specifically my PSP family, for their contributions to your learning this year and our collective experiences. Doctors Gretchen Brian Meisels, Nancy Hill, Stephanie Jones, Josephine Kim, Holly Lem, Adriana Umania Taylor, and Jackie Zeller. What a dream team I get to work with and you get to learn from. I also want to specifically thank Karen Botari, our incredible program administrator. This is a special day and year for her as well, as she earns her master's degree from Harvard University along with you. So I'm sending a big congratulations to you, Karen. Today is a big day. I realize that some of you may be unsure if watching me on the big screen constitutes a big day. But let me just remind you that there have been many moments and movements that many of us have watched on the big screen and still remember today. I can remember very recently watching the royal wedding of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, or years ago the fall of the Berlin Wall or protests in Tiananmen Square. I watched with amazement the recent Black Lives Matter protests around the world. And just last year, a United States vice presidential debate in which our current US Vice President Kamala Harris informed her white male opponent, I'm still speaking. You see, even on screen, we take in big events that elicit big emotions. Today, as you sit, physically or in spirit among your family or friends, I hope you're feeling pride, gratitude, and joy. I'm honored to be a part of this big screen moment that I trust will live long past today. Indeed, things are different on Zoom, and Zoom fatigue is real. Meeting your classmates and becoming a community on Zoom meant that you often knew their pets, but not their heights. I'm only five feet, but Dr. Joe, she's five foot five inches. I've loved the window that Zoom has given us into each other's lives. Seeing Selena's kiddos, Schumann's artistic Zoom backgrounds, and Kiara's adorable dog. You built community virtually with 26 strangers who may not know you in 3D form, but know your passion and your gifts. Across the barriers of distance and technology, you have somehow formed strong connections with each other. You've not allowed the difficulties of this moment to completely undermine your experience at HGSC this year. Instead, you have seized hold of it as part of your education, as a moment of learning, a time to build community in new and creative ways, and an opportunity to reimagine what's possible in schools and in communities. And in doing so, has prepared you to be precisely who you need to be. I want to acknowledge the grief and social isolation that you faced this year. Between a global health pandemic, the trauma and pain of persistent racism made more visible, or the fear of loved ones facing natural disasters or political unrest, this has been a harrowing year. You've worked hard to support each other, as well as your loved ones from afar. To those of you who have lost family members or loved ones, I offer you my deepest compassion and sympathy. To those of you who watched from afar as members of your family or community were harmed, I acknowledge the pain you've experienced. 
and to those of you who, despite these conditions, got up each day, clarified your intentions, and focused on your purpose for being at HGSE, I admire you. Today, a day that marks the end of this chapter, of this experience, I'd like to leave you with a poem from poet and artist Morgan Harper Nichols. I just hope you know it is okay if starting over looks like goodbye. I hope you know that leaving the familiar behind does not mean the end of a beautiful life. Yes, things will be different, and you will be different too. You will notice the gaps in things, and you will also notice where light gets through. And you will find that all along there was more to you, even though you couldn't see it back then. You were overcoming what seemed impossible, proving you were more than where you had been. Every single day, you were learning the art of surrender. You were learning to let go where you needed to let go. You were accepting that the soil needed to be broken open so seeds could be planted and flowers could grow. To you, the PSP class of 2021, I wish you each the courage to do the important work, the good health to keep you strong, and the continued support of your community. Know that you will carry with you love from all of us in PSP. It is now my pleasure to introduce each member of the PSP class of 2021. The Intellectual Contribution Award recipient for the Prevention Science and Practice Program goes to Selena Villegas. Kristen Almondetti Altamar. Chiara Barros. Stefan John Cheven. Binley Taylor. Taylor Blackston. Edgar Chavez. Shumin Chan. Aisha Lene Cotton. Chris De La Torre. Noelle Elizabeth Dinkins. Alejandra Gonzalez. Luisa Irele. Elise Kaufman. Kyung In Kim Su Yun Kim Judy Haywan Lee Sharon Lee Tatiana Orizaba Nicole Hana Park Young Yun Shu Nathan Yu Shu Chien Yu Abdul Razak Zachariah Fan Wen Zhang Uwin Tiung Zhu Jing Yi Zhuang
and the Marshal for the Prevention Science and Practice Program, Darby Lee. Congratulations to you, the Prevention Science and Practice Class of 2021. 